Hey Yaki Gang, Yakitori Guy here. Yakitori means grilled chicken, so this channel is usually about tori skewers. However, you can apply the same yakitori concept of cutting the meats into easy to grill and easy to bite sizes for other meats as well. So today, by popular Yaki Gang request, we're gonna be grilling up some beef. And right here, I have one of my favorite cuts of beef, the short rib. When grilling beef skewers, there's a few ways to do it. You can have it as bite-sized cubes, some rectangles, or even thin strips that you roll up. So there's different ways to skewer it, but the general idea is just like yakitori, you want each of the sizes to be bite-sized so that's easy to eat. So for beef, it's really about the trimming. We want to get the bone off and any of these fats. We don't really need unnecessary fats on this. Carving along the bone right here. This is the main bone piece, get that. And right here, there's lots of fats. Might be tasty, but we don't need too much of this. So as you may know, when grilling chicken skin with all the fats, those extra fats, as they drip down, they can cause flare-ups. And while big flames look cool in backyard barbecue grill ads, it can add unnecessary soup and bitter flavors. So we want to avoid that by trimming all the fats off. So we trimmed off the fats right here and got smaller parts as well. I'm left with this rectangular piece. I'm going to cut them to squares. These smaller pieces, still cut them. In terms of skewering, it's gonna go with these smaller ends. Then work our way up to bigger pieces. I like to put the big piece on top because your first bite should always be perfect. It should be that nice, large, juicy piece. And as you work your way down, you have the smaller pieces just to sort of tease you away, preparing you for the next upcoming skewer, whether it's a vegetable skewer, chicken skewer, pork or seafood. We'll hold on to these fats. Maybe we can use it for cooking later. And here's another method for preparing the short rib. As before, trim off the bone. And instead of trimming the fats first, let's slice them into one centimeter slices. And then we'll trim off all the fats. This method might be a little bit easier to see where the fats are to trim, but either way works. If you wanna do it all at once and then slice into smaller slices, you can do that as well. And look at all that marbleization. Short rib is basically the poor man's wagyu. And for these short ribs, I'm gonna be using my new shijirin grill and binjotan, which I found in my local Japanese grocery store. I did a quick unboxing of the charcoal and the grill earlier on YouTube Live, so check that out. All right, so we got the short rib skewers. It's like yakitori, salt right before grilling, and sake is optional here. Grilling beef is pretty straightforward. You just wanna get the outsides brown, leaving the insides still pink. Just keep on flipping and rotating them around until you get that nice brown color on the outside. Kimchi. We have it, karubi, short ribs. Short rib Something happened with the audio here, so I'm just gonna have to do some voiceover, but just imagine the fattiest, beefiest skewer right here. Fatty, flavorful. I love chicken, but this is good too. So now that it's summer and it's grilling season, I'm expecting all of you guys to be out there in the backyard making yakitori, but you may want to add other skewers such as beef, pork, or seafood. So the same concept. Just make sure all the meats are cut into small pieces so that's going to grill through and also easy to bite. All right, that's it for today's video on the karabi, the short rib. And stay tuned, I do have other videos coming up on different meats that I want to make into kushiaki, as well as other non-meat items. I'm not going to spoil it, so definitely stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions or feedback, write in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned for the upcoming videos. All right, that's it for today. See you guys in the next lesson. Bye, Yaki Gang.